what's up, y'all? I'm just uh, go straight off the top with this little video here. I just want to talk about the, the the family mutation dwelling within the the black community, the black family. When I talk about the black family, I mean the black father, the black mother, and the, and their children. Right now, I know what. Uh, I mean, it's it's a lot of y'all thinking that being black it don't matter no more. But then you you want you want to get happy by you know a, a black president or whatever. Talking about oh we finally made it. Yeah, I still fail to see how you, how y'all define yourselves. You're so happy to have uh, accomplished inside yourself as black people, but. When you want to direct black problems, you don't want to direct them with yourselves, and expl and especially even when we're talking about black issues. And one of the things I really care about a lot is the black family, because I see that as a way of us, um, you know, getting back to, you know, getting back what 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 what's right with the earth, what's right with the Most High, our Creator, what's right with our with our genetics. DNA, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying, it was everything that like matches like this. And um, you know, it's a complex way of thinking thinking at it, but it's real simple. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to talk about my brothers, our relationships with our sisters. Um, I know when I know in my household. Me, my my two older sisters, my little sister, and my little brothers. That was never to this to this day. You know what I'm saying that after my mama had her first kid, my mama had her first kid when she was about sixteen. You know what I'm saying, and now about almost thirty years later, the father the father figure's roles were never completed. All my siblings and nieces' fathers' roles were never completed. And some people, they, when we when we bring the black into that, they want to say, "Oh, it has nothing to do with being black." You know what I'm saying, but when it, when in reality it does, it goes way back to our our history here, whether you want to deny it or not. Because you know, before we got on the slave ships, before we were no. Before we were uh, sold by other Africans, before the white man, before the Arabs, and I mean all them devils enslaved us, we had a, a secure family. Our father was always there, and that, and we just can't ignore it. Now we can't say it, it isn't an issue that we gotta deal with as black people. You know what I'm saying, and I really, I really wanna, you know, deal with that. I know what it's a. Uh, no, not just on uh on YouTube or any other videos or you know any any place in the media, but in a lot of places there are brothers just you know straight up this and the sisters like that, and that, I, and I I, I kind of know why too, it's because I mean when they when they go to school they see they see the sisters dressing half ass naked, or, um you know they got an attitude you know I'm pretty much preaching to the choir with y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about, and, and but, and I, what, I, what I know that doesn't get talked about a lot is the fact that, that, that these, these sisters who dress like this, these sisters who act like this, these sisters who lost their minds like that, it's not, when we play the game plan, we really want to, we pretty much always want to like play the blame game with just a woman. I'm saying, I understand that, understand that too. These kids, I mean, including like uh, the brothers, they out of control too, because they just had mothers raising them. You know I'm saying they just had uh, had the mothers who had to play the role of the father, and the uh, the the father, I mean, pretty much wasn't there half the time. My father wasn't never there. My siblings' father wasn't never there, and nieces and nephews' fathers, they, they, I, I don't. I barely see them, you know, trying to rear them right. The only one rearing us is women. 
and that's just and that's the mutation I'm talking about. It's been centuries of us being mutated like this. So, with uh, with our mind, mind state like this, is is really throwing a whole bunch of contradictions and conf confusion in the black community. You know what I'm saying? They, we, especially with the, uh, all these uh, women talking. So these women so proud to be independent. And I mean, shit. When I, I mean, when I hear about that stuff, I'm like, what the hell? Are these these women the guy that got into, but you know what I'm saying? Right now, we're just living in, in a just type of society, the devil society, where it's just everything backwards. The woman at the top and the man at the bottom. You know, and you got the men frustrated, and you got the the women who, uh, you know, they got the they issues too. And it's, it's just, I mean, all of us is just screwed up in the head. But I mean, y'all, it's, it's, we, can, we can talk about the problem so long, but it, it's really, about time we don't get ourselves straight, especially in these times. Times are getting hectic, times are getting hard, and we really need each other. You know what I'm saying, brothers, please, please. We know our sisters are out of, out of control, they out of hand. You know what I'm saying, but I mean, w when we when we rebuke them, when we rebuke them, uh, you know, try to correct them, I'm gonna let y'all know, coming from a humble brother like myself, they all, all that fussing and, and, and stuff. It don't get us nowhere. I already came from a hectic, ha hectic ass household, and it don't get nowhere. You know what I'm saying? All it does is bring more animosity. You know what I'm saying? When you try to, when you want a positive energy that progresses in people, you don't use uh, such negative force. You know, even if you is preaching the right thing, that negative energy that you throwing out there, it don't do nothing but re remain to be energy. So that's why, I mean, we, when uh, we our brothers out there on the streets trying to you know, preach the word to the sisters or whatever, or, uh, you know, when the homies is out there on the streets you know, trying to spit some game to the sisters, I mean, all that, all that, all that shit is negative. It don't go nowhere. It ain't progressive. It ain't positive. And, you know, that, that's, that's probably the reason why they stay that way. I mean, it can't be that way. You can't be like down in your sisters like that. There's got to be another way. Our sisters done been in our corner since day one. You know what I'm saying? We, I know that I don't. I know that the slave masters. You know what I mean? Ever since slavery, a bunch, hundreds, thousands of times, they done tortured the black man. You know what I'm saying? These these devils done you know, did everything imaginable to us. We got a unique type of suffering. The black people and and, we, and and when they did it to the certain things to the men they showed they let the women and the children watch them break their spirits that's something that i think everybody should know but they don't you know what i'm saying they it's like people out like that like they don't know this I mean, it don't matter if you go to the hood or the college they, they don't know that uh that whole Woody lynch syndrome that we got whether the man was real or not it's, it's definitely affecting us and we have to. We, we definitely gotta recognize and analyze that, and, and build a solution out that. You know what I'm saying, sisters? I mean, we. I mean, as much as I love y'all, I mean, we, you really gotta calm yourselves down, tame yourselves. I know y'all angry because you didn't, you know, have y'all for all this death. I'm saying I'm too. I'm struggling trying to hold my own, so I can just imagine what you, imagine what you're going through. I'm saying I can imagine your pain not having somebody teach you the right things, like I like I didn't. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you you got you you already have a a, a royal position to play alongside your man. You don't. You don't ever have to leave that. You know what I'm saying? You will never, there's no reason for you to feel like you can find something better outside your own man, your own people, your own mama and daddy. You know, we just made mistakes. We under some curses right now, and we really have to, um, see, see the, see the solution we can come up with. You know, I don't, I don't really know if we ever tried, you know what I'm saying, to, to figure that out. I don't know if we ever tried to sit down with our kids and, talk about their mistakes and how we don't want them to continue on 
not giving a damn about their own people. And that's where that's where I see it going to. You know what I'm saying?